Hello, my name is Simona Barbu and I'm the cello professor at University of North Dakota. Um, I am going to talk a little bit about the cello auditions for NVIO Symphony. Um, the first requirement is scales and uh, it's as for one major and one minor scale and they give you an example of a scale that you can use, but you can use any scale that you feel comfortable playing that you probably recently did with your teacher or for any other events. Um, they require, if possible, three octaves or more. And um, the examples given are only three octaves. Also, something that they ask is a certain speed. So um, it's for the half notes. Um, so each note gets two beats, right? So I put the metronome at 120, as it's written. The quarter note is 120, but each note is a half note, meaning two beats. One and two. Da, 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 da. Okay, and um, in addition, they would like a full bow and a big sound. Now, uh, for especially for the lower strings, one tip that I would um, recommend is not to go so fast that the sound is not good anymore. So if we go too fast and we don't have enough weight on the string, uh, and even if we have enough weight on the string, the sound might get bad if we go too fast. So in the lower strings, you might be slightly slower than on the upper strings. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play um, these um, scales, both C major and C minor for you, and then I'll talk a little bit more about a couple of things that you might want to pay attention when you practice. So here is again my uh, tempo. Da, da. C minor, uh, and you might want to pay attention to that three flats at the key signature B, E flat, and A flat. <laughs> as I play through um, that I had to pay attention to of course were my shifts and the their fingerings given um, especially the C major is very standard one the C minor you might come up with other fingerings if you would desire but I played what was written we go up melodic and back natural meaning we have some accidentals going up and then we go back to our flats uh, which can be a little bit difficult for cello. Um, after we shift, we have some extra shifts coming down because we have an A flat and a B flat. Uh, so here coming down, we go to a two. B flat is an extension. A flat is an extension. So all these extensions um, are a little bit more difficult. Again, if you find that you have a different minor uh, scale that you want to choose instead of this one, that might be easier for you, like A minor, um, you feel free to use what is most comfortable and what shows the best uh, you're playing. Um, that's what um, uh, they will be looking for. 
the required excerpts for um, the cello section um, for the cello, cello edition for NVIO symphony um, starts with Vorjak's symphony number no. eight, first movement, the beginning until measure 18. I strongly recommend that you listen to the recording before you even start playing or even say reading, see how it sounds. Um, it's great if you can have the music in front of you while you're listening to that beginning. It's very short. Um, I'm going to play it for you. Uh, but it's better if you listen it, to it in the context with the whole orchestra around it, not just your cello part. Um, things to pay attention to is to be expressive and have a nice vibrato, uh, yet to be able to uh, do all the dynamics that are written. As it's easy sometimes to be loud and then you, we forget to get soft, and that's uh, especially in measure, pick up to measure seven, and then a little bit later, pick up to measure 11, 12. So pick up to measure 12. Uh, and staying piano and then staying piano all the way to the end, yet still being a little bit expressive, uh, but not very loud. So uh, I'll give it a try. Here is the, I use the metronome, so please use the metronome at least to give you the tempo and in the beginning to practice with it, but then try to put it aside and see if you can keep tempo. Um, and another thing, record yourself. That's actually uh, really, really beneficial. We are our best teachers in the end. We can hear actually very well if we don't play quite well. So here's the tempo. Another thing you can do is sing. So that's my tempo and I will play the excerpt for you. Starts with a nice mezzo forte, not forced, but big sound and uh, nice vibrato. <laughs> And at the end, make sure that you really hold all the way to the end and you do a really nice decrescendo as quiet as you can without completely disappearing. A um, couple of things, make sure that um, you um, practice your shifts. Um, they're not too many and not, they're not super difficult, um, but um, they can be a little tricky because it's not fourth position. It goes to the third position for the D. Um, another thing to pay attention to is all these portatos under the notes. So, and they are more expressive rather than actual stops. So, I think to do it from the vibrato da, da, uh, rather than just from the bow. The bow it kind of just comes uh, along with the left hand. So. And so that was in the first measure, and then it happens again in measure seven. And it happens a lot more in measure nine. Um, there are four notes in a row, and you also have a crescendo. So help yourself with the vibrato and with the bow uh, to keep the line going all the way to the next measure. So those portato should not be too um, separated. Separated, but not too separated. Um, I know that's a little bit tricky. Second excerpt from the cello section uh, for the symphony, NVIO symphony auditions is also from Dvorak symphony number no. eight, but fourth movement. And it starts at letter B or measure 42 and ends in measure 57. It's fairly short, but it has repeats. Um, the tempo is 108 um, and um, sounds like this. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. I uh, would practice quite a bit with the metronome just to make sure that I, my tempo is stable. It changes and it's easy to either rush or slow down on the eighth notes, uh, the ones that are in a row towards the end of each one of these lines. Um, and uh, th things to note is that dynamics is fortissimo and also says pesante. Pesante, it's a little bit more grotesque grotesque or um, maybe it's a word um, that you can think of but or just more more um, rough 
a little bit uh, without being ugly. So ugly is not what we are going for, but a little bit more, um, more strong with a stronger articulation in the beginning. Um, and if you look in measure 43, which is the third, uh, has the third note of the passage, the third note has this little kind of triangle, but it's, we call it carrot, and it's uh, a lot harsher accent. So it would be, right? So it has a little bit more uh, point to, or depth into the string with the bow when I start the third note. So I really dig in and then I start playing the note. Um, the same sign you are gonna see the second line on the second line from the beginning and you it's also on the eighth note so so this 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 first two notes also have that carrot and then the third note um which is in measure 51 uh, um it has also an accent and a sforzando so again it's more the third note is always more that's kind of the musical motive so a little bit less and then the third note the first two notes and then the third note has a stronger accent um the dynamic stays pretty loud all the way and actually the composer even says più forte uh in this on the second line meaning don't get softer or you have less actually get more to uh, all the way to the end of the passage even though it goes in the lower register obviously he wants the same dynamic or even louder um yeah, so here is how it sounds. Uh, I'm going to take the tempo again from the metronome and I'm going to leave it on because um, it will help me stay stable and I advise you to do the same, especially when you practice. softer or at least I didn't think of playing louder the second time I did it better um, so be careful that's really easy to play softer another um, another tip that uh, I or another point that I would like you to um, look at and measure as I said in measure 43 there is a strong accent this carrot on top of the note but also the very next measure at the end, um, after the faster note, the syncopa note gets also a carrot, and it happens the same the following measure. So those are pretty important to do a really nice bite into the in the note. So. Um, right. So just a little more bite. Take time to dig in and play it without getting out of the tempo. So I think that's. Um, that's the challenge, to stay in tempo, to keep maintain a tempo, a stable tempo, um, yet do all the articulations that um, we talked about. I hope this is helpful as you prepare for the audition. <laughs>